this video, we install carbon fiber wing, front lip, side skirt extensions, mirror caps, and then M3 style kidney grills. Today is also the last day for 100x entries on karmaspeed.com to win our first Karma Speed giveaway car. The car is still unknown, and that's why we're doing 100x entries. For every $1 you spend, you get 100 entries. So go get entered now. Let's get into the video. Tomorrow we'll be showing you the giveaway car, but today's the last day to get those 100x entries. So let's get in the video, get entered on karmaspeed.com. That's the best way to support the channel. And we're excited to call one of you guys to let you know that, hey, you just want a car. And the modifications begin. So we talked about kind of what we want to do with this car, but Chris hasn't seen any boxes. They're all here, so I'm going to go get one at a time. We'll throw them in front of Chris. We'll give him the knife, and then we'll start unboxing. Randall's handy dandy magnet. It's a Sunday, or else Randall would be here. Probably should have invited him, but I know he's Christmas shopping or something. I meant to ask you in the first episode, what do you do for work? So I manage a tech company out here in Arizona. We specialize in buying, selling, trading, and repairing any Apple product. If you guys need a computer, need a screen fix, anything, find me here in Gilbert locally off of Higley in Guadalupe. What's the store called? It's called Experimax. Ask for Chris. Ooh, that's some nice carbon. Carbon fiber, side skirt extensions. So this will replace the black plastic ones that we got with the M Performance pack. Nice! Now we got a bigger box. Christmas is not here yet, but Christmas came early. It's always Christmas here. Yeah. What is this? I don't even remember what this is. Oh, you know what? I know what it is. It's a front splitter. It comes in three pieces. Oh, yeah. that's new to me. I never had that happen. Um, fiber goodness. This is just one of the three component that should go right there. Hey, it's like it never happened. Oh, I see. So this is all one yep. piece. I think it takes longer to unwrap it than it does to destroy it. <laughs> On the GTA, I put that carbon fiber front skirt. It would look so sick, and it was destroyed within like days. The Arizona freeway got the best of me. Then I got a second one and destroyed that one too. I didn't want to talk about it back then because I was still sad about it, but we're not sad anymore. Let's, let's get a little mock-up. Why don't you go toss this thing up on the front? Oh yeah, that's gonna look nice. 40 horsepower for sure. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I'm super guilty. I already opened this. It was in my living room way too long. I can't control myself, so. Chris gets the half open box. This one's got a lot of goodies in it. Santa came. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be controversial. It's another thing a lot of people hate is when someone who's not an M owner throws on the M grill. Here's the thing. I opted. No M badge. I'm not going to fake my way to the top. It know? had an option for an M badge? You said no. No, a lot of people will opt to buy the replica M3 grills oh. and just have them say the M, and that triggers a lot of people. But you know, I have these standard black ones, but just you know, the double slit, in my opinion, makes the, the front end look a lot meaner. I got to see the difference. Oh, so instead of it being one spoke, basically it's double. Yep. All right, here's the question. Does it look better? Yes. Then we'll duh, we're doing, we're doing, it. doing it. Another controversial mod. These are gonna be the carbon fiber mirror covers. Here's the thing, Car throwing carbon fiber mirror covers isn't a big deal. It's when you get the M style with the little fin or the little winglet. Dude, you got to, that thing I is sick. To. It just makes it look so much more aggressive. Show me this right here, this beam no, So you see stock, you don't have that wing. Yeah. This it incorporates that. Ooh. Look a lot better. Wow, that is a flex. And the cool thing is it's filled in here. It's not just an empty gap. Mmm. Because if you do it, oh, BMW OEM. And a keys battery. Oh, look at that. Authenticity right there. Let's see the front of it real quick up close. Dude, those are going to look good. Chris practically bought stuff before he even had the car. He came and showed me. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. We got some mods to do on the channel to a car like this. And I was like, you need to go return whatever you bought for it. And he's already bought what's under this. But now we got the keys version to make sure we match everything else and it looks good. Now we got the red jet tag. Mm -hmm. Oof, that thing is gonna look sick. Just take that to the back of the car right now. I can't wait to see this. This car needs this. Boom! I, I didn't realize how I did. I thought it would be like down here. This yeah. thing goes all the way up here. So from the back, this thing looks way more aggressive than I thought. Obviously the side looks cool. The deck tail going up, but I had no clue how tall this thing was, which from the back, oh, I'm so pumped for you. This looks sick. This thing looks dope. It's just mocked up. Hmm? It's just mocked up. Oh, I know it's not even on yet. The only negative thing about this video is that because of all the issues in the world right now, it's actually impossible to get the matching rear valence. 
So that's on standby. We are going to get it. There was like no way we could get it in time for this episode. We're gonna have carbon everywhere, but this is just gonna be on standby. So hold out for us. We'll follow up with that later. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna install the carbon fiber mirror caps, M3 style. Yeah, like M3. All, all the M's have yeah. that corner piece like we talked about. All right, Chris, lead the way, and then I'll do the other side maybe. Sweet, yeah. So first things first, I'll use this button here on the door to go ahead and tip the mirror as far forward as I can, or up, I should say. So it's like this? Yep. The scary part is getting under here. If you need a pry tool, we got a link in the description to some stuff. I'm just there's a clip down here there so you break that one and then you should be able to just shimmy this guy off yep there we go this is actually for your heated um, mirrors if you have that option on your BMW fun fact yeah. and then you have a couple pinch clips in here you can actually use your fingers so those right there you just pinch it pinch while pulling on your mirror okay go ahead itself. So I'll pinch these together. Same goes for the top one. You might. There you go. Just pop off. You haven't broken any of your clips. Wow, that's a great design actually. I've broken a lot of those <laughs> from different cars, that's cool. Find the right one. Seems like it's the right one. You have your same clips here, here, here. And the install is pretty simple. You just kind of line it up. Gotta make sure all your clips are lined up in there. And you press forward. Check for any gaps, any imperfections. Just like that, that's in there. And then you just take your mirror, angle it up and just press her in there. Wipe her down. Final product. What do you think about that? Looks good. So you got the folding in. The good thing is that Ooh. they're made to not hit here. Those sequentials are aftermarket? Yes, yeah, so these are aftermarket. Whoa, those are cool. Shit sure looks perfect. You know? I have some ceramic coating we can put on all this. Oh, awesome. That would be good for That'd it. Be really cool. So it doesn't get cloudy. You want to repeat the next side? I'm yeah, gonna. I want to do it. Yeah, Let's yeah. If you guys didn't know, we have a link in the description to an awesome Amazon list of tools we use on a regular basis. It's a bunch of stuff, so if you're looking to work on cars, you don't have tools, description of every single video. Oh yeah, it felt nice. Yeah. Well, I know it's gonna break loose, just trying to be careful. There we go. No breakage? Nope. We can sell them online? We All can right. sell them. We're good. Never had that happen before. They always break. <laughs> it's these ones. It's every car has that design right there. But this is the first car I've seen where these have the prong looking ones. And then this one right here is usually everywhere. But they're only on the bottom on this to line them up, which is fantastic. This is the little baby steps of BMW winning me over a little bit. You should line up like corners first. This side first. Fit snug. Yeah. Like a glove. Like a glove. Eesh, my hands are sweaty. I'm all scared. <laughs> it's not my car. I'm used to being okay with if I mess it up. I can't do that on this. Oh yeah. First things first. Let's get nice and wet. Get any. Anything from the road off of here without scratching the paint. Keep the surface nice and lubricated. And then we're going to follow up with the isopropyl alcohol. And then this thing's going to be as sticky as she's going to get. Isopropyl alcohol is very smelly. And there's a alternative to that. 
this company called Superior Image. I'll leave a link in the description. They have detail products. I helped them rebrand this, make it look the way it does, and we're still in the beginning phases of bringing this to the public. But it's a long story. I don't have time to tell you guys that right now. But there's a surface cleaner panel prep. This is a alternative that smells better, isn't hard on your nose, and it's just a very pleasant product as a alternative to isopropyl alcohol. This would be good for prepping for um, 3M adhesive like this, or maybe even um, wrapping vinyl um, before you do ceramic coatings. Super important to clean the surface, and this stuff is awesome for that. You get it concentrated, you put it in your pro bottle, fill this up with water, and then you have a lot of product in a little 16 ounce bottle paired with your 32 ounce pro bottle. This stuff is rad. The system is all explained on the website. Okay, it doesn't like to shimmy left or right, so that looks pretty solid once you just set it down. We thought of a decent idea to line this up. I'm gonna get some tape and put it on this edge. So at least Chris knows the line that way and the line that way. I think this is totally unnecessary, but we're just taking that little precaution. All right, let's flip it over upside down over here. So I have a heat gun set up right here. I personally like to heat this up just a little bit so it gets tacky. All right, send it. Looks pretty good over here. First time I ever did a wing like this. I put a couple microfibers and some plates, some weight workout plates, and I had it sit there overnight. Mm, good I'm idea. sure it didn't fly off. That's a great idea. Unfortunately, I didn't use good glue and it flew off on the freeway, but. <laughs> Dude, it looks so awesome. Dang. Let's go. Looks good. She's got some personality now. Feels like mine. We're gonna pick up where we left off another day for our side skirts and our front lip and the grill and the grill. Those are a little bit heavy on the install, a little more in depth, we're running out of time. It is dark, catch you guys another day. We're picking up on a different day. We got Chris's car on the lift. We're just assessing kind of what we need to do to pull this off. One single screw in the center right here. So we just have a little regular number two. And then we need a Torx bolt, Torx socket there. See how much is coming off on this side? Yeah, uh, it's yeah. ready to fly off. Okay. All right, I need a plastic clip tool. Oh yeah. So we'll put a link in the description to these guys. Plastic clips are so tiny uh, on this car for the front and like usually a regular like plastic pry tool for your plastic clips doesn't work. So we need something really small that can grab onto them. Which I don't even think that tool can get to that one of course. So I got a flathead screwdriver. Got him. There it goes. Yeah, flathead screwdriver for the wind. This one's holding it right here. All right, so we have a regular pry tool. This is what I was talking about. It's one of these. It's gonna be in our Amazon list below. In the center of this thing, we have a T20. Dang, this one's long. I think this thing's been reattached. I wouldn't doubt it. So the M Sport front setup, front lip, has a support bar. And when you look underneath from this angle, it looks like, oh, this is all one piece, but it's not. And this is glued together, we can see right here. Uh, that, that makes a difference too, Chris, look yeah. at that. No wonder it's stuck on here. So we have all these little clips right here. We need to get off, and they're actually kind of hard to get a flathead in. So, yeah, got that one started. We can get the tool in there. I'm gonna do this all the way across. This one's almost gone, it's all thin. <laughs> all right, so now I'm gonna take my tool and start separating the glue. Stick it in there and twist it. I missed the tape there. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? Look at that. That's hilarious. <laughs> there we go. This thing is all kinds of glued together. I'm sticking a small flat head up in between here. It's actually separating pretty well. Oh yeah, she's getting floppy. <laughs> Arms are tired. Today's Chris's birthday, if you guys are wondering. Chris is holding the camera. So everybody comment, happy birthday, Chris. Surprise, you get a new front lip. Oh! How did they even get that in there? Is what I want to know. You see that thing? There's like a bolt back there. There's two of them. Someone mangled this thing once. 
Let's try and pull off this side now. Ah, there we go. Oh my goodness. Is this epoxy? Yeah. Clean. And in to think, I wanted to do the lip that leaves these exposed. Oh, <laughs> oh might be some progress. Ta-da! Dang. You didn't need that, did you? I was gonna sell it, but 200 bucks. Never been mounted. They're plastic clips? Huh. Fun plastic clips in awkward places. Bingo. Oh, geez, they shoot out. I'm getting dust in the eyes. This poor car's getting manhandled. It's all one piece still, too. Hi, right, for the fun part, the cleaning part. You don't even need black vinyl here, Chris. You already got <laughs> some nice clean epoxy here. You know how to get that off? It ain't gonna come. Well, let's clean it first. We'll come back with some results. So we're gonna put the camera down for a sec. We are concerned that this is gonna cause like fitment. So we got Chris over here with a razor blade trying to see if he can get the big pieces off. This little wheel right here is a vinyl decal remover wheel. It might get some of this thin stuff off that Chris couldn't get with the razor blade. So we got it leveled out between 150 grit sandpaper, the eraser wheel, and some razor blades. It's not fun to look at. It should be okay. We're gonna go ahead and wash it again, and then we'll prep it. We're ready. I got like 30 more of these to go. So we're getting our black vinyl. Chris is getting the width. Let me like make a little mark. Yeah. Probably wanna go like up here. Yep. We can cut a straight piece on the table. I mean, you did hit it straight on the line. Dude, the rest of the table. Dude, my bad. I'll buff it out. This thing's just, brand new. Just, ooh, wait a minute. So we just got the vinyl, we team worked it. So this is the line we chose. Most of this is hidden. We rounded off this corner right here. And then you just need a little bit along the way. Something like that. Looks pretty good. We made sure to follow this line to leave white exposed over here. And then up top, it's just black smooth. And yeah, there's a little bit in this corner, a little vinyl right there. But when you step back, I think it looks proper. We're gonna go ahead and repeat on the other side, apply the vinyl, and then we're gonna start mounting them. We bought the extreme. This stuff is no joke. Let me tell you, this is what I've used in the past on my other cars. And once it's on, it's on, it doesn't come off. I mean, I can follow this line down here. Is that right? It's like where it needs to be, now I just gotta push it. It's on. Sweet! Little mock up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I do need to take this one out right here. Yeah. Ain't going nowhere. Push up, which my gaps are somewhat okay, but then you got the fatty gap over there. That'll get drilled. Oops. So Chris had a great idea. This sags, we have the outside mounted with this original OEM hardware. Now we can just pull this out. Take it from under, like that little gap in here. Push up. We got some self tapping screws from Ace Hardware with a six millimeter head on it. All right, let's go in the center. The best spot's gonna be closer to the front of the car. Oh, yeah. One thing you don't want to do with self tappers is go too tight. It makes a hole by itself, taps itself in, and then the threads start to catch. And then if you go all the way till it bottoms out and then keep spinning, it kind of ruins the like threads that it creates in the like plastic material of the bumper. So I'm waiting for it. Okay, it starts to pop through. And then, then it snugs up and just leave it there. Don't keep going. Dude, I think I could sneak a second one in there. 
I think I should. Yeah. Because if you like G'd out one day and on the freeway and it caught. Yeah. I feel really good about Can it, man. Can you hang on it? Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> that was a process, but man, it came out good. Looking nice. To start the process with the side skirts, got it up on a jack. Some jack stands for safety. Step one of side skirt install. T20 Torx, pull out all the little bolts. Or screws, I mean. Good dust in your eye. Step two, get all of these plastic clips off. They're kind of a pain. Next step, we're going to lower the car, move this over here. Back underneath. The last one's on the corner. Make sure your friends are safe. As a backup. Are you pushing the tabs up in? Yep, pushing it in so that way when we pull on it, it's not gonna stop us from yanking her off. Is it ready to rock? Just ready to rock and roll. Now we need to pull it down because there's some adhesive. We're started. Manhandle that thing. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> oh oh no. no. Start from the front now. I missed a chunk, but <laughs> still in there. Then you're gonna wanna raise it again. Then you grab a adhesive remover wheel. So when you use these tools, you don't go like really fast. You kind of just massage it like this. Massage it till that adhesive is gone. Sometimes it takes a little bit. But then once it starts to fall off, it kind of goes fast. You can just get the bulk of it. We got a bucket with soapy water. Just gonna get all the dirt and dust off from the eraser wheel. Then we're gonna spray it down with some panel prep surface cleaner. Make sure the surface is good to go for adhesion. So, this skirt, you can see that it's hanging. There's a little tab that you can slide up for the plastic under tray. It slides into the corner. It's really nice for mounting. So you could almost do this by yourself, honestly, with that hooked up, hooked up in there. But Chris is gonna peel back a little bit of the red tape part. He's gonna secure the front and then pull the red tape as we go down. And then we're gonna lift it up and put some self tappers in and then we're done. Three self tappers from Ace Hardware with a six millimeter socket on a mini Milwaukee impact. I'm gonna send it right here on the front. It's about right here. And I'm gonna try and keep it a little more towards the car in case Chris ever took this off, you wouldn't see any holes. You wanna push kind of hard up. Okay, I'll let it sit there. Okay, now it's going in, I'm threading it in. Okay, it's snug. Not gonna go anymore. Woo, that thing's mounted. Ain't going nowhere. All right, we'll do one in the middle. One more to go. Boom. Get that adhesive to do something. This thing came out awesome. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy hey, birthday. happy birthday. 22. 22. Last piece of the puzzle. We're gonna swap out our grill. This piece just comes up and out. Bunch of Torx bits. I'm gonna guess like T30 or something. All right, we got a T30 here. First try. Sheesh. Finally learning these Torx bits. <laughs> what we got here? Nope. Oh, Chris is excited, he's running back and forth. First try. What are those? T20. There we go. Bumper pulled out of these little clips here. Pull it forward. Boom. So now this allows you. Oh yeah, we got all kinds of. Get some access, access to these clips, so you can push these top ones in. Corey, come say hi. It looks great, man. This is. Now me, me and Randall washed on the other side. It looked hard. <laughs> oh, Randall, it looked hard. We should have helped. Maybe next time we'll help. This is oddly a BMW day manifestation or something. This is telling you something, dude. 
I'm telling you. Telling me how much I don't need okay, one. Okay, well you have a Subaru sitting on that side of the house. You have a Subaru sitting right there and you have a Subaru sitting right there and they feel neglected so we had to invade with the BMWs to let you know that hey, if you want a car to run, you have to get a BMW. I guess so. Chris should probably tell us what's going on because I'm not. I'm being so, a really bad YouTuber right now. I got all these clips. You got to push down on the top ones, push up on the bottom. Oh, there's a clip on the side, silly me. You got to push that one in. No, whoa. I think this is the only thing we took off today that didn't break. <laughs> that wasn't jank from the previous <laughs> owner. We found epoxy all over this car. <laughs> I'll tell you what, dude. BMW's best kept secret for finding him like that. <laughs> You know what I would have done if we were removing this? I would get a just get a bungee cord right in the metal and I'd hook it to Randall's diesel <laughs> and just gas it and it'd come out no problem. Probably do two for one. You could probably just hook two there and put a hook in the middle <laughs> and just gas it up and it would be such a quick removal. It would. Wait, Chris, are you sure about that? Yeah. That's easy. That's, it's, this, this did break. This did break. Plain and simple, your clips will line up in all the specific holes. Snap in to each one of them. Booyah! Kind of hating in my head, like you know, it's not gonna look any different. It's not worth the hassle, but that's sick. Same spiel for this side. Gotta slip your hand in there. This is a you gotta be there mod, and it's really kind of self-explanatory when you can look in the cracks. Easy peasy, beginner level. It was damaged on this side, remember? Mm-hmm. And I think what happened is the impact cracked this corner. Mm-hmm. And this side did the same thing, no issues. You learn everything about the car after you buy the car. Sports on there. Perfect. If the bumper isn't cracked, you can just line up in the holes. All right these are in subtle but different I like it it looks really nice so the trick is to line up the edges or to screw in the edges and then see if the bumper lines up at least the gaps this side is a little closer. I think it needs just to come out just a smidge on the side. But yeah, very close. Here. Solid gaps, solid gaps. Perfect. Second try. Screw in all these. These are our T30s. Just falls into place on these little grooves. Just line it up, push it in. Awesome. And there, you have it. That was awesome. Now we just wait for the rear diffuser and we're complete. That's a wrap until we get some more parts. Thank you, brother. Heck yeah. We're well, getting it looks awesome. Wait till we get her a little lower. A little lower, a little louder. A little faster. If you're new to BMWs like me, I'm gonna leave a video right here to show you inside and out of this vehicle. And don't forget, karmaspeed.com, 100x entries. Today is the last day. We'll see you on the website, get entered to win this giveaway car, and go see this car inside and out with this video right here.